so can you tell me about the lawsuit that you filed against Chico Union? Yeah, I um, filed a lawsuit against them because they transitioned my daughter um, from a girl to a boy at school without my knowledge. Okay, and then how long did this go? We're pretty much just going to reiterate the case, but like, how long did this go for that you're aware of? Um, but she was a boy without my knowledge. Yes. Um, like a, like a, a couple months, probably, I think a few months. Um, I, you know, when I found out, um, it was April when I found out. Okay. And then, um, your daughter was seeing a counselor. Um, were you aware that she was seeing this counselor? Well, um, I was aware that she was participating in a, a girls group, which I signed a permission slip for. Um, they, it, how it was described to me, it was an, a group where... Um, they were going to do arts and crafts, and it's um, meant for after COVID for kids or girls specifically to um, build friendships. Okay, and then um, pretty much um, when you found out in April and you went to the school board about it and the district about it, uh, tell me about that process. Well, it was really eye-opening for me because um, I thought that I could let somebody know within the district and they would stop that and they wouldn't want that for our children. Unfortunately, um, um, I, I described already on Fox what happened when um, I spoke to the principal, so I went up the chain, of, next to the chain of command, which was Ted Sullivan. Um, he told me that it was law. I went up to the next person, which was Jay Marchant. He did the same thing, told me it was law. At that point, I um, went to Kelly Staley, and it was the same answer that they said this was the law, and they can't tell me. Okay. Did they specify, like, where in the law this was, or just the uh, people have mentioned Assembly Bill 1266? I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yeah, so when it originally happened, um, Jay, or not Jay, but Ted had given me the... Um, that uh, bill and also the frequently asked questions by um, that the California State of Education has given you know them how to address that bill so he gave me both um, and I read them and I said there's nowhere in the law that says that you can't tell the parents okay um uh, did you bring after you read through that did you bring that up with the district after? yes yes Yes, I, I mean, originally I brought it up with the principal and we had gotten an argument over the phone over the fact that she was arguing that it was a law and I told her that it's not a law, it's a law meant for discrimination. It's not a law to keep parents in the dark on very serious situations like this. Okay, um, and then, so, uh, we received the lawsuit before Chico Unified did, um, and then that night Chico Unified released a statement about the article and receiving the lawsuit, and they mentioned the uh, parental secrecy policy that they didn't have one. So what was your reaction to hearing upon that? I mean, all I know is what happened with me, and that's all I can tell you, and they definitely didn't tell me what was going on with my daughter when they transitioned her from a boy, or from a girl to a boy. I guess, is there any concern because they are denying that there is a parental secrecy <coughs> policy that that might, um, I guess, hinder you from winning the lawsuit or it could like... You know, them? I don't really know. That would be like <coughs> something that my lawyers would know more about because I'm not a lawyer. All I know is what has happened to my daughter and I feel that it's really important for other families to know. That's why I'm voicing um, what happened. I spent the last six months working my way up the chain of command within the district and not saying anything because I just wanted them to make sure this didn't happen to any more kids and um, to get you know the door closed on me each time and telling me it's the law I just felt like somebody has to protect our children and um, these are our are babies and they're very young and they don't understand everything and for um, the school to leave us in the dark for these very important situations it this is it's just wrong it's just wrong and um, I, I, I am shocked 
that the district wouldn't have just stopped this and said, oh my gosh, like we don't want this to go on in our schools and, um, and react more in that way. I was really surprised that they told me it was law. And um, I think parents need to know because I was totally s surprised too. Like when this happened, I, I remember crying on the phone to Ted Sullivan saying, how could you do this to my little child? Like, how can you do this to my little girl? And he was like, what do you want me to do? Break the law? And it's just disheartening that, like, this is what's going on in our schools. And it just, and people need to know. People just need to know because these are our babies. Do you need to take a second or anything like that? Yeah. <coughs> I know that was a lot right there, so. Yeah, it's just, it is a lot. It's so, it's so much. Um, so, um, after, like, you went on Fox, The Daily Wire, and, like, probably now us, like, and the statement, um, have you got, received a lot of community support after this? I have. I have. And, um, and it makes me know that, you know, this is the right things because this is the right thing because parents need to know what's going on no matter what and um, this is happening across our nation and I don't know how things got so mixed up where you know the schools got this misguided in the fact that this is the way to treat a situation at all any situation and um, parents more than ever now need to um, stand up and you know voice their opinion for our children and I and I know that in the political arena it's become you know a Democratic or Republican thing and it's not this is not a Democratic or Republican thing this is a right or wrong thing and if I was to you know sit there and throw out what side of the fence I you know I I um, Represent. I would say I lean more to being a liberal. So I, I just want our people to know, like, don't fight each other because you want to say this is Republican guided or, you know, or Democratic guided or whatever. You know, come together because this is serious, because this is our kids. Thank you. That was a lot. That was a great statement. Thank you. Um, so uh, there's a school board meeting tonight. Um, you told me off camera that plenty of parents are going to express their opinions on that, about the situation at hand. Um, do you know what's expected tomorrow? I don't know what's expected at all, but I really hope you know parents voice their opinion because it needs to be heard because these type of actions need to stop. And no matter whatever happens with the lawsuit, um, I just want this to stop. I want parents to voice their opinions and make sure that this doesn't happen to any more kids. Okay. Um, that was going to be my next question. Like, what do you hope for after the lawsuit? Obviously, um, just, do you just hope for no, like, to, obviously, like, kids, if they're confused about gender and whatnot, um, but to maybe explore that, but just not in secrecy, correct? I feel like that um, when it comes to exploring their gender, it's definitely something that families should be brought in on, um, just because they need that support and they, you know, they need that guidance. And um, and I've said this before, and I'll say it again: it didn't matter what my daughter wanted to be. I'm gonna love her no matter what. It just doesn't matter. What I didn't appreciate is for them to do it behind my back, because then she was subject to all kinds of bullying, and she was only 11 and didn't know how to deal with it. She was subject to going into the school office and them now referring her to by her new boy name and pronouns and she was just kind of surprised because she didn't tell them it. So she was wondering how they even knew and she didn't know how to facilitate those feelings as well and it's just wrong. It's just wrong because she didn't know what to do and she was just left by herself to try to figure it out at a time where she needed me and her family the most. Of course. And then um, has there been any new developments in the lawsuit um, since 
within the last like week or so, like a date or a court or any response from the school? You know, I haven't heard anything at this point. I just want parents to know what's going on. That's it. And then um, have any of the defendants like, reached out to you personally since receiving the lawsuit or? Um, I, no, no, nothing like that's going on. Okay, and then um, I think we've got all my questions pretty much answered. I mean, is there anything else you would like to add to this interview that I didn't mention? Um, any questions, comments, concerns, or even questions to me that you might have? Um, literally anything. I think one thing that um, I want to be known, and in fact, my daughter was, you know, <laughs> she had mentioned it too. She's like, Mom, you didn't let them know that this is something I want. And it is. It was during the process of me talking with the district about what had happened with her. Um, she came to me and she's like, Mom, this is wrong. And I don't want this to happen to any more kids. And I said, all right, are you willing to talk to the district officials about this and how you feel like it was wrong? And she said she, she would. And so I did bring her with me to the meeting with Kelly Staley. And she did voice how she felt like um, how it was handled was very wrong and very fast. And, and she doesn't want it to happen to any more kids. And then um, is your daughter, like, obviously there's still a lot going on in your life and your family's life with the lawsuit and all that. Has she improved mentally since fifth grade and all that happening? I know you transferred her to a new district. Um, just She's actually still in Chico Fight, you know, you know, uh, Chico Unified School District. Oh, excuse she's me. At a school. She's at a different school. Um, she is. She is. She's um, blossoming and beautiful, and um, she's very well spoken. Um, I think she almost wishes that she was older so she could, you know, be able to articulate her feelings about the situation um, from her own words. So um, I, I'm really proud of her. Um, she's just, she's just a beautiful person. Great. And then, um, uh, I know there was mention of the younger sibling of is she doing well as well? Yes, okay. yes. It was a big learning experience for our family, um, and and in all, um, it it really did bring us closer. And um, it, it it was hard. It was very hard for us, and it's been a lot even now because I know as uncomfortable it is for me to sit here and do these interviews, it's it's important for the rest of the kids. It's important for me to do this for the rest of the families and the children so they know what's going on. I think we're all good. Any other final thoughts? Um, There's no rush in like rushing any of them, just... Um, no, I can't think of anything. I think that was the one thing. I was like, you need to let them know that. <laughs> I was like, after everything, even with the interview, it was so funny. She was with the fox thing, and that was very stressful. This is very stressful, but she was like, you didn't tell them. I was like, I don't even remember what I said, because <laughs> that was like live. Yeah. That was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, we can, like, your Fox News experience, I mean, we can talk about how that was like. Um, did it go well, or how did you feel about it, or? You know, um, as long as my story gets out there and um, of what happened to my daughter, um, I think I feel confident and happy with whatever whatever happens. It's just people need to know. P people need to know what's happened across our nation, and unless parents, you know, speak up, it's going to keep happening, unfortunately. Um, do you think this lawsuit, regardless of how it ends, do you think it'll open more doors for conversations with parents and kids, regardless of, like, gender identity, sexuality, or mental health? Um, I hope so. I, I definitely hope so. I hope it opens up doors for anything like that, um, just because... You know, things are happening in our schools, and um, and we're not knowing about it, and so it it needs to, it needs to be talked about. 